Traditional cellular base stations radiate power in all the directions because they have no information about where the mobile device is located. This wastes the power and causes the interference to the adjacent cells as well as making it harder to distinguish the weaker incoming signals from among the noise and interference. And hence comes the concept of STMA. Hi, I am Disha Shukla and welcome to the session. Now, STMA stands for Space Division Multiple Access. So, Space, uh, space Division Multiple Access or Spatial Division Multiple Access is a channel access method used in mobile communication system which reuses the same set of cell phone frequencies in the given service area. Now, two cells or two small regions can make the use of the same set of frequencies if they are separated by an allowable distance and that is called the reusable distance. So, SDMA increases the capacity of the system and transmission quality by focusing the signals into the narrow transmission beam. Through the use of smart antennas with the beams pointed at the direction of the mobile station, SDMA serves different users within the same region. Mobile stations operating outside the bounds of this direct beams experience a near zero interference from the other mobile stations opera operating under the same base station. So what I want to say is that space division multiple access or the special division multiple access is a technique which is MIMO that is multiple, uh, multiple input and multiple output and it has a MIMO architecture and it is used mostly in the wireless and the satellite communication. It has some features like uh, all the users can communicate at the same time using the same channel because it is divided uh, by the space. SDMA is completely free from interference because you are not sharing anything so it's completely free from the interference. A single satellite can communicate with more satellite receivers of the same frequency. The directional spot beam antennas are used and hence the base station in SDMA can track a moving user and it controls the radiated energy from each user in the space. So moving forward. SDMA uses the physical separation method that permits the, the sharing of the wireless user as I already said. Now, for instance, a single channel may be used simultaneously if the users are spaced from, uh, far enough from one another to avoid the interference. It is also known as a frequency use, reuse. The method is widely used in the cellular radio systems. Cell sites are separated from one another to minimize the interference. Now, as you can see in the figure, this figure shows how actually the space division multiple access works. Now, here the directional antennas are used, uh, say for example, we are taking a scenario, like uh, in uh, the directional antennas are used to avoid the interference, hence most cell sites uses three antennas to create a 120 degree sectors that allows the frequency sharing. Now, new technologies like the smart antennas or the adaptive uh, arrays use dynamic be uh, beam forming to shrink the uh, signals into the narrow beams that can be focused on a specific users. Now here, as I said, considering the scenario in which, uh, for example, we have the signal, we have a scenario wherein the signals must be transmitted simultaneously by one satellite to the mobile or portable wireless receiver in 20 different surface zones. Now in a conventional system, 20 channels and 20 antennas would be necessary to maintain this channel separation. But in SDMA, there can be far fewer channels than the zones. If duplicate channel zones are sufficiently separated, then the 20 signals can be transmitted to earth using 4 or 5 channels max. The narrow signal beams from the satellite uh, antennas ensure that the interference will not occur because zones because the zone, uh, zones are using the same frequency. So SDMA requires careful choice of the zones for each transmitter and also requires precise antenna alignment. A smaller error in this can result in a failure of one or more channels and hence interference among the channels or confusion between the surface. Uh, surface coverage zones also increases. 
one unique uh, variation now this is about the sdml like you can use different uh, you can use different antennas that are placed such that they cover 120 degree sector of each and hence you can cover the whole area around but you sdma i mean space space division multiple access can also be done using polarization division multiple access so one unique uh, variation of sdma is polarization division multiple access that is pdma it separates the signal by using different polarizations of the antenna two different signals then can use the same frequency one transmitting a vertically polarized signal and the another transmitting a horizontally polarized signal the signals won't interfere with one another even if they are on the same frequency because they are or they are orthogonal and the antennas won't respond to the oppositely polarized signal now here uh, what do you mean by orthogonal is that whenever the signals or whenever two things are separated by each other at 90 degree then that is called they are orthogonal and then there inter there won't be any interference between the two frequencies so here again what are we doing is we are using we are just uh, dividing the i mean we are using different polarizations for transmitting the signal uh, one signal will be transmitted in a vertically polarized way and the another would be transmitted in a hor horizontal polarized way so hence both of them would not interfere with each other and you can get a space division you can provide multiple access by dividing the space so this is all about space division multiple access as i already said that you are supposed to divide the space here but you cannot actually divide the space so what we do is we place the antennas in such a manner that they they can occupy the whole area but there won't be any kind of interference and for that we already saw that we can divide either place the antenna such that they cover 120 degree sector of each direction and hence you can use only three antennas and maintain it now if you if i already i also told you about a scenario where you can we have to transmit for the 20 channels so based on that requirements you can also do that and the another variation that we talked about is the polarized division multiple access wherein we are transmitting the signal in two different polarization that is one signal will be vertically polarized and the another would be horizontally polarized so here if you have any questions you can ask me until then keep learning